Okay, continuing with this lesson. Now we're going to add some uh, text to this. Um, I've created four extra layers up the top here. Um, right, the first one is going to be the title layer, which is here. The top one's action layer. So create these action layer, title layer, strap line, and strap line two. Right, so that's going to be the title, that's going to be a subheading, and that's going to be another subheading part of the text. Okay, I'm going to now just extend the lines through. I want the titles to come in um, in about uh, one second. So, as you know, 12 frames a second, so that would take us up to here. So what I do is I select right down here, and then I just insert frame. Now I'm going to lock these layers out. It means I can't accidentally edit anything now. The only layer I can actually put things on is a title layer. So I'm going to come along here and give it a title fast PC the si size of a match box that's my title make that a capital um, change the colour of the text down here if you like I'm going to leave it as a darker red and I'll bring the size up a little bit. I'll leave it as the typeface here, you can select different typefaces. I'm going to leave it as Century Gothic. Um, OK, that's that done. OK, now I want it to enlarge and to come down into the frame. So I'm going to right hand click and I'm going to create a motion tween. I'm going to select the end point where it ends after a second that's my set point where it's going to end. I come back to the first frame, go to the transform tool and pull it up in size. I'm going to click on the object and where it says color, if that doesn't come up it's because you haven't selected it. So you want color down there and alpha I'm going to set that on zero so you can go in different degrees and that's that set. So now that should flash in like that. You can play around with the ease, um, remember to click on the frame to do the ease what it comes in as. When it's coming fast, 100%, and I want it to slow down when it comes out of the animation, the motion tween. So I want the ease to slow down a bit, put it at 60 there. Okay, that's that done. Okay, then I want the, the strap lines to come in. Now, create an extra frame. So go to the end here and then insert frame. And then in these two, I want to create a keyframe, so I'll click there, insert keyframe, click there, insert keyframe. Oh, wrong one. Insert keyframe. There we go. And I'm going to lock that first one out. Now, inside that layer, I'm then going to put the subtext. Small size. Very select that text and reduce it down in size to 17 and put it underneath just there now at the same time I might as well use that text um, remember I'm doing it now before I do the motion tween because after I've done the motion tween I can no longer take that text and copy it so I want it exactly the same so I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to come into this frame and I'm going to paste it but remember you have to turn the lock off there we go so we've got both of those another good thing is take both of these select both of these and then go to the align tool if you can't see it it will be under windows align and I hit that once they're both selected I hit that and it will line them up so they're both exactly aligned so have a mess around with that as well now I'm going to come into this one and change the text. Remember it's not a symbol or anything so the up the top version is not going to change with it. Let's put the text in there. Right now I'm going to do another tween. Again I want this to be about roughly a second so I'm going to come here select all these, insert frame select this top one and the bottom one and create a motion tween on both 
then there, so you can do things at the same time. Select both of them, and then I want to insert a keyframe. At this point and this point, I've selected both of them. I want to grab them and move them over to the right. So now they'll flood in together. But I want to stagger it so the top one comes in first. So what I'm going to do is come in there and insert frame. But the quick way of doing it is F5. Come out so that's linked there. So now you're going to get this reduced down in size. Then the other thing, zip in. And then the next one, zip in. Actually, it's in the wrong order. That's all right. Move this out. And I can take this back to select those texts and I just remove the frames. So now that's coming in the right order. Okay, now I'm going to go wait for another two seconds. So it's on 30, so I want 40, 50, about 55. Select all the layers and insert a frame. So that's coming in size, that's zooming in, that's zooming in. And there we go, that's our banner. Now I want to also have it after that amount of time for these to whip back out again. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a keyframe here. That's F6 on the key, keyboard, keyframe there. I'm going to select these here to here, this keyframe to this keyframe. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste in here. Then I'm going to select these frames. Remember they're around the wrong way. So I need to go down to reverse frames, which I've done. Select these, copy these, and again, paste the frames, and reverse the frames. And then I want to put a frame in there. I want to insert a frame there, or F5, until it goes in line with this. So that this one comes out, and then this one comes out. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to just insert the frames there. I'm going to add an action into this layer. So I'm going to insert a keyframe where I'm going to apply an action. And I want it to go from here, these shoot out and then they shoot back in again at frame 12. So in there, I've got to add an action, so I go to Windows, Actions, reduce this down a bit, Actions, and all I put in here is go to frame 12 and play. So when it gets to that end, it'll go back to frame 12 and play in a continuous loop. I'm going to save that and now I'm going to test the movie. So I'm exporting, export movie. I'm going to replace the ones in there. folder and here we go so it's going back to 12 and it's just repeating so if I rewind that and then play it that comes in that comes in that comes in and it repeats so that kind of that's the basics of doing a, a simple a simple banner like you've probably seen on the internet loads of times before so next lesson I'm going to concentrate on um, showing you more of the special effects with the text um, and other things that you can use within this framework. But that's basically it. I'm also going to show you how to put links in there and create button overlays for things. But it all follows these, these lessons. So, yep, stay tuned for the next lesson.